Do you ever wonder? Just sit there and wonder. Try to figure out what it what it was that happened <laughs> that got you to where you are right now. You sit back and, and, and you think and try to put together all the little pieces. All the tiny threads that made up this picture that's now your life. And you're just you're just hoping there's a story. Some magical journey that has to have all the right pieces. All the magic numbers to prove that it it's good. Because story is story is story. But there is no story. This is your life. And as much as it's uh, filled with wonder and joy, it's a heartbreaking, depressing, arduous journey. It'll simply end in your death. Ever wonder why religion teaches us to not kill ourselves? Ever wonder why religion wants to torture us? Wants us to survive in this wickedly horrible place sprinkled with insignificant pleasures? Sex. Love. Friends. Well, I got a secret for you. They all go away in the end. And the end is always sooner than you think it is. There is no love. No love. No lasting love, anyhow. It's a chemical malfunction in the brain triggered to promote the care and nurturing of the young so we can teach them how to deal with this existence. Sorry to break this to you, but um, this is hell. We live in hell. We were born into hell. See, I've never understood why hell existed. If you're tortured for all of eternity, how, how bad can that be? How much torture will it take before you simply adjust? Forever is a long, long time. There's just no logical way that hell could work. But see, that's, that's not how it works. We are in hell. What's the point of, of, of suffering if there's nothing good to make us want something else? What if the desire of things and memories of better time and, and easier lives is just a device to ensure our suffering? We're all here to torture each other. Provide um, inconveniences and annoyances that will ensure that our lives are never happy. Because in the end, everyone you have ever loved, who has ever loved you, who has ever touched your meaningless and pitiful life, will be dead. Dead and gone. So you go through life pretending like the life-crushing events that bombard you don't happen and you, and you look forward to your trip to Hawaii or your new car or the latest show on TV. <laughs> And you don't even realize that this life is nothing but suffering accented with um, a small bounce of joy, followed by more rejection, hate, fear, mistrust, and ultimately death. Oh boy, wouldn't it be great if that, that just was the end? But it isn't. You just come back again. No memory of how things work and you get drugged through this all again. And again. And again. Yeah. That's how hell works. If you knew you were um, here, it wouldn't be hell. <laughs>